Hi guys, welcome to the new quarter. This week we are going to be talking about some books um, as it gets closer to Halloween. So the book we have this week is called City of Ghosts to honor Halloween and the fall season. And this book is about a girl named Cass or Cassidy who falls through a frozen river and when she falls through her best friend Jacob tries to rescue her. And as she's waiting for the ambulances and police, she starts falling asleep because her body's so cold. And Jacob tries to keep her awake, but can't quite keep her awake. She does die, but she does not know that she's dead. Um, her best friend Jacob then is not all the way dead as well, and he can transfer into the spirit world with her. Cass is dead and can see all the ghosts around her, so she starts becoming an inspector of ghosts and hunting ghosts with her parents, who win um, a trip to Edinburgh to hunt these ghosts, basically to tell what their whole life was about when they were ghosts. And Cass goes around Edinburgh. There's lots of castles. She takes her camera with her as they try to figure out all of these ghost stories. So I am going to show you a quick video about it. It is a great book for the Halloween season. Ever since I almost drowned, I can pull back the veil that separates the living from the dead. I wouldn't even be alive, but my best friend Jacob saved me. He's a ghost, and I'm the only one who can see him. Now, my parents investigate the world's most haunted places, finding ghosts in the living world and beyond the veil. But the spirits aren't just restless. They're angry and dangerous. If I'm going to survive, I have a lot to learn about the veil, Jacob, and myself. Ever since I almost drowned, I can pull back the veil that separates the living from the dead. I okay, so we do have lots of recommendations for this book if you're interested in other ones. Um, we do have a book called The Devil in Ohio that just came in. We also have a sequel to this book called Tunnel of Bones. Um, lots of Halloween recommendations. We got a new one by R.L. Stein called Fear. But if you walk in the library, they're on the very first shelf as you're walking in, if you're interested in any of these titles, I'd love to see what I'm doing.